I'm not going to torture you guys through going through the whole thing because it's probably going to need to mix a little bit. But just in general, basically when you do a green smoothie, what you're going to have is like half a cup of different greens. So I think the original recipe, and this is the reason why I hardly ever post recipes because I'm one of those people and I always say that I don't bake because I'm one of those people who are like, I just go with the spirit of my ancestors and I do what I want. But the original recipe, I think it has like half a cup of romaine, half a cup of spinach, half a cup of, of kale, um, half a cup of celery, half of a cucumber, etc. So at the end of the day, what you're looking for is like to have three or four cups of different greens. So I actually, from the last time, had some spinach that I had left over. I had some celery that was still good. I had some parsley. And I wanna make sure that I have things that are high protein and also gonna be really nutritious. So a lot of times I will, last time I did buy fresh kale and I did buy fresh spinach and I chopped it all up myself. Um, the other thing you're gonna add is a little bit of fruit so that it's not like terrible, terrible. It's just naturally sweet. Unless you don't want that because, but it's really almost horrible when I do that. So I got protein greens, just a blend. And you guys see, I put this underneath the stuff I eat all the time, but it is so nutritious. It's got like 15% of my iron. You guys know how important that is for me. It's got sweet pea leaves, baby spinach, bok choy, baby kale, and mizuna. And then I have some of this spinach that I used in the last one. And then I have celery and parsley. The parsley I actually froze in the spinach because it needed to be. So, and then just a reminder, we talked about in the first video of how you stack. So all of this soft stuff is gonna go first. And that's the thing, like that's a lot of it when it's fresh like this, it takes a lot to get in here. And then I have to blend that. And then the next thing, but I'll show you guys, like I said, I'm not going to have you sit here and watch me blend it all. But in addition to that, just to make some other things more nutritious, I also am adding some chia seeds, some hemp seeds, and some flax seeds. So that's going to go on the top. I already mixed those up right here. I think I got half of a serving of the hemp because their servings are pretty big and then a full serving of chia seeds and flax seeds. And then um, the recipe was calling for strawberries, but I bought mixed berries because my scan told me that I needed blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries, and strawberries. Strawberries were lower in the list. So I'm gonna do exactly what my body wants and is asking for. And then apple. Apple is almost always in most smoothie recipes and I think in this particular recipe too there was also banana banana and apple are almost always in smoothie recipes so again we put the soft soft stuff first then we put the harder stuff so my celery is harder than the other stuff so that's going afterwards and then we put the apples and the fruit and then a cup of ice as well um again it's already like full <laughs> so I already got to mix it so I'm going to let you guys go and underneath I'll try to put the recipe because again, I'm going to have to mix it. And then a lot of times, oh, let me, I still got to put the spinach into the spinach. And I also had some broccoli sprouts because again, they're on my skin and I'm basically just putting together a salad <laughs> and going to drink it with some fruit in it so that I can, it doesn't taste terrible and I can actually drink it. So broccoli sprouts are going in too. And again, so for me, I basically have like four cups of veggies that I'm putting in here. That's going to get mixed up. And then we put the fruit. Then we put our little nutritious seed type stuff on top. And we put some ice in there as well. A cup or two of ice. Most of the time that I do this, I got to add extra water. It's just like whatever. So that is what is in my green, green smoothie basically and I get a chance I will try to put like the details in the comments but thanks for joining me for this one again I'm not gonna make you stand here while I blend then add then blend then add the blend and then that's gonna be pretty boring so I'm gonna cut this off right here if you have any questions or need any more clarifications always drop me in the comments and then I will be back with my last dinner peanut butter chocolate smoothie that is so good all right see you soon